Hello Hattrickers, it's time for the 57th episode of Let's Play Hattrick in San Marino with Inter Calvajero. This week we start in the classic way with the Scouts Call. Let's see, Bolini, first up, 15 years old, poor defending right now, and he's weak passing in the potential. Even though he's 15, we are going to reject him. Rizaliti, 15 years old, potential weak scoring, all around a week, remain with poor defending, no. No, no, Primo. Okay, let's see here. Sigismondo is weak right now. Could emerge with passable passing. 15 years old, we'll give him a shot. And I guess we'll try him in a wing slot very soon uh, when we get the chance. All right, let's move on to the youth match this week. We did actually play a friendly and a league match, but the most important thing is to look at the performance of uh, Maletti in the match here. Five stars, seven stars, Motorella, and uh, time to look pretty decent, I'd say. Uh, Maletti, if we look at him and his player page, he is on course to pop to a uh, triple inadequate status, but he won't reach much more than that because we are edging ever so close to his promotion in 29 days just. Also, we will be promoting Motorella in just 19 days now. Exciting times. In the midweek friendly against the team in Denmark, we did get extra time. We avoided major injuries, a bit of minor injuries and injuries to the non-crucial players in the training plan. So still satisfied to see us going without major drawbacks in this one. The attendance was also very nice with just over 3000 spectators for this international friendly. So that's looking quite nice. Looking at this week's training report, we'll see that Kamalini, Lodka and a new guy in the team, Andrei Lemetti, all topped in defending last Friday. Kamalini from excellent to formidable, Lodka from solid to excellent, and Lemetti, the new guy from wretched to poor. And uh, let's take a look at the training sheet because there's more new players in this side. All right, here we go. So we did see Kamalini pop and his HTMS 28 has been updated to 2057. And Tri Lemetti is uh, in fact a goalkeeper, uh, a profit player, and uh, we'll be raising him in defending as much as possible before we sell him on. Another new guy arrived after the training update is Glenn de Manet, and he's a Belgian keeper with a relatively high set pieces, same titanium goalkeeping and a little higher defense as well and his transfer compare is uh, listed here at 5.5 million euros a new addition to the sheet here in order to easily compare and see how the, the transfer comparison increases for each of the players as they get more training this HGMS value is inflated and is uh, wrong in some way I think he should be 1796 perhaps but um, made a few uh, changes simply because we made a sale that sale was massive Mario Agemo. When we sold him at excellent defending, Titanic uh, keeper and solid set pieces, we sold him for 6 million euros and uh, we acquired him for 4.845 million euros. So a fairly good trade for Mario Agemo and that's the reason why we've been adding a new keeper. We did also play a league match against Tamazo, another bot team in the series and we won without problems, four goals to nothing, no trouble with any injuries or anything during the match, a decent job. We're just getting ready for the final match against the unknown in the final round of the season. In the next match, we'll be playing AS Fiorentino, the bottom bot side of the league. We managed to clinch the third place and we will most likely finish here because it will be impossible to overtake Berlin United. They'd have to lose against the bot team in the next round for that to happen. So finishing third as we've been expecting for most of the season already. That's all for this uh, week's episode. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the continued support. I hope you guys have a great week in Hattrick. See you guys soon.